Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. This week I'm showing you how to disable hover effects on your mobile devices. So if you have a background hover or a button or anything like that on desktop, it may look really nice and it may be a great user interaction, but when you're on a mobile phone, you don't always want or even need to have like a hover effect because we don't have a mouse on our phone. We are using our fingers and it's a touch device. And so what we can just do is across the whole site, disable hover effects. And we can do that with a pretty advanced PHP code snippet, or we can do it with our Divi Responsive Helper plugin. I'm going to show you both ways and you can choose which way works best for you. So I just set up an example here quick. Here I have a blurb module and I have the background collar set. When I hover, it turns green. And I also went in here and added a border. Well, I added the border width of four pixels on hover and zero by default. And then in this module, I have a blue background and in the spacing, I have it set to like 40 pixels around it when I hover, see that? And I guess I could also do something like change the text to light. Okay, and then here's a button with its normal hover. Okay, um, so I can save this. Now, I won't necessarily be able to show you that, but when I check on my phone now and view this page, since it is a you know mobile, a touch device, um, I will not see that green or that border, and I will not see that space or that white, and I won't see that effect either. It will just be normal. It will just look like that when I click on it. I wish I could show you, <laughs> um, but that's what I mean by disabling hover effects. So while these may or may not be great, you know, on desktop, we don't need them on mobile. It doesn't. It's not relevant. So you can come on over to our blog post. I have that linked in the description there on YouTube and basically introduce this. Here I have some information about it, a link to Divi Responsive Helper, and then I have you know this explanation um, where to paste the code, and here's the code, and a little bit of what the code is doing. So if you're going to use the code method, you can copy it here, and then of course check, you know, you can put it in Divi Assistant, um, if you have Divi Assistant, you can come into the Visual Builder and put it in the PHP tab like that and save. Another option is in a child theme in the functions.php file or in a code snippet plugin. So that's going to be up to you. Just bear in mind that this is very advanced PHP. Uh, it's not your normal, you know, little CSS snippet or something like that. This is this is advanced, so please, you know, use responsibly. Be careful. Don't break things. Um, you know, we're not responsible if your site breaks, just use it carefully on a staging site. Um, if you want to use our plugin, it's, it's really simple. Um, if you already have Divi Responsive Helper, it's as simple as turning on a setting like you can see there. In fact, I'll just do that here quick. So I'll go to Divi Theme Options, Divi Responsive Helper. It's in the miscellaneous tab. Um, I just turned that on for, for my tutorial, but um, there you go, disable hover effects on touch devices. So you can save changes. Now just an FYI, you won't be able to test this in your browser because it's not a touch device. So even if I change you know, my preview size and I click on here, it's still going to show it because it's looking for a touch device. It's not looking for the screen size. Hope, hope that makes sense. Just to clarify that, it, you know, if you're testing it in your browser, it won't. You'll have to actually test on your actual device. All right, so there's two methods. Um, use whichever one you are the most comfortable with or have access to, and that's how you do that. We have, you know, obviously over 50 settings in that plugin, the Divi Responsive Helper. And yeah, we obviously try to provide as much value as we can in there. Um, if you're using the code snippet, like I said, be careful. Just use, you know, Take normal precautions, use a staging site to test it first. And yeah, we hope you enjoy. We have tutorials like this every week on our blog and on YouTube, so you can subscribe both places and you'll get notified about them. All right, we'll see you in the next video.